Hey everybody, it's Kevin Abbott from Barrel Amongst Brewing and I am at Oceans 234 doing a food and beer pairing, a special food and beer pairing. That's the first one that we're doing and hopefully it's gonna be a long series. We love food and beer at Barrel Amongst Brewing. I worked as a wine steward for many, many years uh, doing wine pairings with food and I was introduced to beer in food and thought that that was kind of a crazy concept. Uh, I've come to find out that beer being a more complex beverage with kind of more ingredients, uh, more variety in beer versus wine as far as the total styles and the flavor profiles means that it can pair as well, if not better, than wine. And a lot of people don't know that. So we've done a lot of food pairings over the years. Uh, we've done a whole series at our brewery, which is called the Throwdown Beer Dinners. And unfortunately, we're not able to do it at this point. But we love talking food and beer. If you know about our Old Favorite Friday videos, you know that pretty much I always talk about a food pairing that should go with that beer or that could go with that beer. I love to explore, I love to try new things. And I was lucky enough to go to Oceans 234 here in Deerfield Beach, uh, close to the brewery, to get this beautiful seafood fra diablo. All right, if you're not familiar with this kind of dish, it's a spicy tomato sauce. Uh, tons of seafood in here. We got rock shrimp, we got local clams. Uh, we have some Florida micro basil here on top. And we're, we're talking about a little bit of spiciness here too. Um, and the spice level, the chef described about it be about a, a six or a seven. Um, so you have to have something that's gonna counteract that and go well with the spiciness, the acidity of the tomato sauce and the pasta. Uh, so I wanted to go with something interesting and I wanted to go with our Waypoint IPA. Waypoint is a thialized IPA. What that means is that we use a particular kind of yeast strain that brings out a lot of these tropical fruit flavors, even some white grape flavors. Uh, it's a New England style IPA, so it's well, relatively hazy. And this is the beer that I thought would go the best with this dish because we've got a little bit of the bitterness and IPAs traditionally go really, really well. Uh, with uh, spicy dishes. I also like the idea of adding like some tropical fruit notes to a dish that doesn't really have a lot of tropical fruit here. Uh, I also like the body aspect of it. This is kind of a medium bodied IPA with a dish that has some richness to it. So I wanted something that can kind of match up power to power. So I think all together, we've also got some citrus flavors here that go well with the acidity of the, of the tomato sauce. I think this is gonna work really, really well. Um, tomato sauces are traditionally kind of tough to pair with beer, a lot of people say. There are a lot of options out there. A lot of people will say something like an amber ale. You see something like, a, you know, even like an Italian pilsner go well with some of the lighter tomato sauces. Maybe something like a brown ale with like a, a bolognese sauce or a meat or a heartier sauce. But I think this is gonna go really, really well together. Uh, so I'll take a sip of the beer. Get the flavor profile there. And we got some great Parmesan cheese here, the rock shrimp. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely getting more tropical fruit flavors that are coming out of the beer really pairing well with the dish. I'm getting a little bit of heat. I, I'm, a, I'm a spice guy, so I like heat. There's a nice level of heat. There's some pickled uh, Fresno peppers here that are really, really nice. But also because they're pickled, add a little bit of acidity to it. There's not, there's not a lot of acidity in this beer, so that balances out really well. Um, the spiciness that brings out all those complex hop flavors uh, with the spice level of the dish, really, really nice. There's a lot of things you can pair well with this dish, uh, but this one's gonna work really, really well together. And thankfully at Oceans 234, they have this dish on their main menu and they have Waypoint IPA and Draft at all times. So if you're interested in trying this combination out, you can come on down anytime, uh, get this dish, get this beer, try it yourself. Uh, you also, you know, obviously Uber Eats, DoorDash, all those things, I'm sure uh, you can pick that up and uh, get some barrel, among, barrel amongst Waypoint uh, at home and get this dish uh, delivered right to your door. Uh, also, if you're just familiar with this dish or you want to find a recipe online for a Fra Diablo, when you want to do this at home and try either with Waypoint, if you have your, can get your hands on it, or another hazy IPA, uh, do a little experimentation, maybe try uh, a different style of beer. I think a wheat ale actually would go pretty well with this right now as I'm trying it. And do a little experimentation yourself. Exploring the world of beer and food pairings is really, really cool because what I like is not necessarily going to be what you like. There are rules and things that kind of typically go well together, uh, but it's not a steadfast thing. You can like cer certain food uh, aspects of the food. Maybe you want to add more acidity to this dish and you want to go with like a mild sour ale. That might not be terrible, uh, depending on the flavor profile and the other things that go into the beer. So experiment, uh, try different things, support local restaurants. If you're local to, to South Florida, please come by Ocean 234, great beer, great food. And hopefully we'll see you again uh, with another great uh, beer and food pairing. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.